Namaskaram the peeps, this is Harisha from Melbourne Yatri. I would like to go ahead and share uh, a very exciting news which I'm absolutely stoked about. We bought the original Prusa i3 MK 3S Plus 3D printer. It's an FFF uh, 3D printer. Uh, I've been reading about it for a while and I've been actually uh, looking forward to buying this for almost all uh, close to four plus years. And uh, finally my wait is done. I've got this printer delivered because I had to save for a while. It's not a cheap printer to buy, but it's an absolutely a gorgeous printer to go ahead and own because uh, uh, you know, the print qualities on this is actually uh, you know amazing and it's beautiful. Not only the printer, but I also bought a multi-material uh, one upgrade, which is actually there so that I can print, uh, print from multiple materials and I can make, you know, multicolored objects. Uh, that's actually can print up, I think, closely five different type of colors. So I got assembled, uh, assembled that later, which I'll be doing. But originally, I'll be just starting off with a single color on this printer, get used to it, learn it a lot and do it. And obviously, since I was buying the printer as well as, you know, the multi-material handling uh, upgrade, I also bought a roll of uh, one kg of PTE filament, sorry, one kg roll of PTFE filament. That helps a lot because PTFE is actually, you know, uh, what do you call foot grade uh, material and hence uh, it's pretty good to go ahead and actually you know, use it. So yeah, let's go ahead and actually unbox this and see what's there inside. I'm just using a regular Stanley knife that's available in my house. So they have a good security seal here, just to show that, you know, it's untampered. So what I actually bought in here is a fully pre-assembled unit. So this is how it's looking inside it. Okay, looks like they've put something up there as a funny thing as an example. Oh, thank you very much for giving me some gummy bears, although I don't eat it, but that's still fine. They are actually, looks like fruity gummy bears. If they are vegetarian, I'll definitely eat it, else uh, I can't eat it. But anyway, thank you very much, Bruce and team, uh, for actually giving me this. Obviously, there is a, you know, obvious. Oh, there's a packing slip that they've given with all the test results in it. So you have uh, all the test results done here, uh, whether everything is okay or not. So this is pretty good, along with hot and heater curve and as well as target curve, which is pretty nice for them to do this. Then, what do we have here? They say congratulations. So there's a bit of a paperwork here, trying to, you know, uh, get all the stuff, then the, give a free online course pamphlet, oh wow, stickers, that's nice, cool stickers, I like the Frenchie, if I'm not wrong, this is the Frenchie dog, so cool, and then yes, this is the uh, 3D printing handbook, so this is actually the manual we got to refer back to, if you have any queries for most of them, otherwise you can just refer it to the online one. Uh, I think I'll stick to the online one for now, or I might just use this. Let's see, you know, uh, let's let's look at it how it goes. Because I'm not really good at reading instructions. So this is how it looks like. We remove it. There we go. That's the printer. Let me throw that apart. Wow. Completely neatly assembled. All put together. I was very afraid, you know, how it's going to come. But then, looks like they've put something else in here. Oh, they gave us another basic filament. That's interesting. So they gave us another filament, which is PLA. Okay, so, so it looks like they would give you a free filament. PLA, uh, 1 kg, roughly like 27 USD. Okay, thanks for that. Then what do we have on this side? Okay, these are the accessories for the MK3S Plus accessories. Oh, looks like the power cable and loom and stuff. So these are the accessories that they've given. Not sure what this is. Oh, there's an application set for Prusa. Prusa lubricant. They have a spool handle and two spool holders. Obviously the power supply with an Australian plug because I'm based in Australia. 
think this is a USB cable that they've given. Uh, oh, very nice of them to give me spare. So these are actually all the spares which are provided. I think spare bolts that are needed. Obviously, a glue stick. Thoughtful. Oh, wow. Ah, now I anticipated that. They gave an entire tool set. So they've gone ahead and given an entire tool set, which basically has a, a Phillips, screw, Phillips screwdriver uh, a plier. Okay, and then you have uh, uh, Allen keys actually in the there. So that's nice. And what else? Well, they gave the isopropyl alcohol that is needed. So for the first one, and obviously a 16 GB memory card. Cool. Not bad. Not bad. Thank you, Prusa, for all this. I think I'll just be using them. Keep the tools aside. Power supply. I need it spare. I don't think I need the lubricant. I think I need this. Spool hole. So yeah, I'll need that. I might as well just keep this whole thing aside. That's the rest of the printer. So let me just you know, a few more cardboard pieces. Do not throw away parts inside. Good, they've actually put that sticker. I wish they put it on both the sides. So it looks like this is having your uh, you know, plates. So let's go ahead and see the plates. So not only I did order both the plates and I paid the additional 30 plus dollars. So let's see what they have given. Oh. Clean only when cold, do not clean with that stone. Okay, this is the heated steel bed, which is the MD28. And I guess, you know, there is already one bed attached to this one already, okay. Now, but I ordered two, right? Strange. But maybe I did not order two, I need to check my order then. So this is what I got, and this is actually having this sheet, you know, for the actual print area. This is the heated steel sheet, which is there. So you can actually, you know, print either way, right? You can actually print either way, both the sides. Printer in all glory. You can see it. So it's currently facing that way, east west for me. I'll slowly change it to north south, but uh, just want to, you know, grass waters in there. So let me try to cut it properly. So to get this, I kind of more the story. There we go, that came out. This is very very interesting. So they do already have heated steel sheet here and as you can see they've already printed this as part of quality assurance and this whole thing actually all across. It looks like it is part of their you know, quality test. They've printed this whole thing up so that we can just pop out and have a look at it which is really nice. Very good gesture by uh, Prosai and team. You know the team that actually assembles these printers. Good job. And they did use the silver color uh, I think, uh, you know, PLA plastic. I think that's the same plastic that I've actually received as a gift. So, pretty good. So, you would be seeing a lot of 3D printing uh, and 3D designing videos coming off from me. So, I'm happy I've received both the beds. Bed one, bed two, or you can call this as bed one, bed two. So, I have two of these. There's a steel sheet and so is this one. So, both are actually steel sheets and I'm very, very happy with this kind of a setup. So, I'm gonna Pull this whole thing up and remove the bottom piece. Hopefully, I don't know anything to it. Okay, you just push very, very gently this whole thing down and away. There we go. So, this is a bit more cleaner setup that I'm having now. I have some tools which are there up here on the right hand side for me. Whereas I have my Prusa actually set up having dual spools on the top, although you only have a single feeder up there, right? So let me just uh, take you through it. So as you can see here, 
okay this is actually supported by a very strong frame so this is the uh, strong frame which is actually there uh, it's a pretty rigid frame which i like it and that's actually bolted down now because mine is pre-assembled all this is pre-done by Pusa and send it across to me but that is actually bolted down normally to the extrusions which are uh, up here so these extrusions right so we have the LCD display in the front obviously and this is actually a jog wheel and this is to you know cancel something uh, which you have selected and this jog wheel also goes in as a button and then obviously you have the memory card on the side so the way the memory card actually would go in is the pins would be actually facing towards us so we just pick up the pin just put it on there just put it back that's it now the power supply is actually mounted here in the side uh, please don't mind the mess around so this is the power supply unit and it's actually having a, a three pin socket here you could get based on the country you're living in the type of electrical socket into the wall and the switch is actually located here so you just turn this on and it basically gets on as you can see there is a light that goes on the other side because this is actually the control unit right here and this control unit actually also has a USB cable here if you want to do and you also get a USB cable from Rosa when you order it this is the control unit mounted the housing for this unit is also 3d printed only this one is actually a metal one which is hosting the power supply in it now you do have two z-axis motors along with stabilizers actually up there so this is the stabilizer rod and this is actually the you know the screw on which it gets the motor goes up and down so this is z-axis motor one and this is the z-axis motor two so you have two of them that gives a very sturdy you know z-axis going up and down now you actually have an x-axis but it's a single motor okay it still is a, a bit rock solid along with that what you actually have is this is the extruder block in this extruder block you just fit in the filament from the top and it automatically takes in this light that it's glowing is actually the sensor the sensor that actually measures the height this one is the fan uh, which is used for cooling and uh, this is actually part of your hot end if i'm not wrong right oh no sorry this is the motor that controls the extruder and uh, yeah this is the other fan which is up there so you have the hot end as well as you're basically having you know the height sensor up there and they're almost all at the same height i think the height sensor is slightly above the hot end if you look at you know horizontally at that location this is the uh, build plate which is there the beauty of this build plate is actually dual mode so you can actually print on this surface you know once your print is done pick it up you remove it then you can also use the other surface so you can print on both the side so in case if you damage on one side you can go ahead and print it on the other side so i have gone ahead and I've ordered that additional $34 part. Okay, so when you're putting the uh, piece in, the build plate in, as you can see, you have these two notches up here. And these two notches are actually used to align this build plate with the heated bed below. And this is the heated bed. It clearly says do not print on it, obviously. And it's actually having markings on it. And you see these positions is where exactly the uh, sensor is going to come and try to align. The magnetic sensor so these are the locations they are there like you know nine of them if i'm not wrong so you have nine of them and this is the magnetic in mk52 bed okay and what i'm trying to use here it's very easy to align just align with the screws on the top like that and then just drop it down and try to see on the sides you know it's not misaligned kind of thing so this did not align properly obviously you know when i'm doing with the one hand this operation so hang on let me just try to redo it again so i'm just using this here and this cut out here you know you can put your thumb under or your finger under lift it up it's easy to lift up align it properly out there as you can see to the notches and then slowly get it down still see a gap on this side so i might just push it from this end Mm, sounds okay so this particular steel heat bed is the one which is for uh, the MD 28 okay which is does for the PETG and a couple of other materials the other I'm actually having is this one the uh, TF 21 okay so this is also dual side and this is where I by mistake printed a PETG screwed it up while actually you know picking it up and then uh, 
I made a mistake and uh, I actually damaged the surface but luckily because these are two side printable I did not order a new one as of now I can just keep printing on this with care and you know uh, once I damage both the sides I'm going to go ahead and order a new one actually of that so yeah now moving on from this that's actually your uh, y-axis motor and uh, this is the uh, display which is actually on as you can see and then uh, you actually get this holder so this holder is able to you know just click into the place and this will be able to hold two spools for you you know so I have one uh, which I got for free uh, from our part of the kit actually complimentary the uh, PLA one and whereas the other one this is the PET G one uh, which I've actually ordered it from them you know it's like 27 USD which I ordered so yeah because I wanted to print some uh, parts which uh, can be used along with the food like in terms of candles and all this kind of stuff so anything which you know interacts with eatable food is actually there I would be printing on PET G anything else for simple prototyping or you know just locks and you know filler spaces and stuff I'll be printing on my PLA right I do also have TPU so I will be testing out TPU material later on and uh, let you know how that uh, looks like so this is your initial blank screen which is out there so the moment you actually take your memory card and uh, you know you put the pins facing towards yourself that's the slot there you would just enter in the slot and as you can see it automatically searches for files and say okay there you go files so you do have some you know files which are already preloaded by Prusa which you can print as test prints and see you know how things are going on so that's the introduction to my Prusa EMK 3S uh, uh, you know 3D printer I have not put the you know the multi uh, uh, what you call multi filament mode module actually installed on it I'll be doing it later on maybe you know a month plus I want to first get my hands dirty on this printer try to figure out do multiple prints do multi do multiple prototyping and few of the products and then uh, I will go ahead and you know try to put you know the multi mode selector or basically the multi filament selector up out there okay so yeah uh, stay tuned in I'll be you know adding in uh, you know videos with respect to different type of uh, prints that I'm going to do on Prusa uh, using my Prusa 3d printer as well as you know uh, tutorials on you know how to use the Prusa 3d software which I have it installed on my Mac as well as the options which are there on the menu bar in this uh, LCD as uh, well as uh, you know uh, some of the you know the optimization settings based on different material which is out there well uh, we shall all the best and uh, have fun <laughs>